Hey guys, it's Twiggy Bird, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a boat in Minecraft. So this boat is mainly going to be used for your base. So, so if you're planning on making a design, it's going to be be quite large. So, yeah, I'd recommend not using this one since it's very going to be quite big. But not too big if you want to make it for your base. It's just going to be a night average size around 10 blocks. So yeah, let's get on to it. So first you're going to want to just get a water because this is a boat. So unless you want a sunken boat then. So we're just going to grab some blocks. I'm going to use three very different block, different blocks that look similar to each other just to make just to make it look like there's a texture you don't have to do it but it looks pretty nice if there's a texture look so just use three different blocks with similar color so next we're gonna get stripped dark oak log for the framing of the boat and dark oak stairs okay so what you're gonna do is we're gonna grab our a block and build all the way up to the top of the water like this and we're going to break the first three blocks at the top of the water so that the first three blocks just so that there's a bit of room to build so we're just going to remove the pillar and make a maybe eight block frame of dark oak wood just like this all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to grab the acacia or the wall block that was chosen and we're just gonna build on top of it so let's just put the dark oak stairs here first okay so we're go I think yeah we should so we're going to build on top of it just like this just to start an actual thing so like just like that and what we're gonna do is if there's no middle then I suggest th that you extend it so let's just grab some stairs to see and also some slabs okay so if yeah if there's no middle, then there, sh there should be a middle from the side. So we're just going to make it one block longer so that there's a perfect middle. So now it's nine blocks long. We're just going to add a stair again. A very slight change. So we're going to place a block at the middle. And what we're going to do... So just make sure that it's at the middle by counting the blocks. One... Okay, so we're going to place a block, two stairs at the side, and some slabs at the side of those stairs to give it a smooth effect. Just like this. And we're just going to repeat it at, on the other side of the build. Just like this. So this is what it looks like from the top. It looks a bit strange but it will look good soon okay so now we're going to add a dark oak stair at the front and a strip dark oak log here and then we're going to just get a dark trap door like this and we're just going to place at the bottom of the stair so that the spiral thing is blocked out and just to give it make it look smooth so we're just going to fill out the outer, outer smooth bits with the wall block. So we're just going to build on top of those stair that we made so that it's a bit wider. This will be repeated for most of the build actually. So you can place it there. So it should look like this. The back is flat. And the front should be a bit pointed. Okay, so 
Now we're going to add a stair and a stripped log there. And for this side, we're going to add a stripped log there instead. And a trap door. So it should be looking a bit like a boat by now. A very small one. But we're going to make it a bit larger later. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to place a block in the middle again and then three blocks in the middle, two stairs at the side. No, not two. Two sideways stairs at the side like this so that it's actually f four blocks and two slabs there. So so we're repeating that smoother effect but a larger version. So let's just repeat it on the other side. If you want it symmetrical, add the sideways stair and two slabs. Sideways stairs, two slabs. Very simple. Okay, so it should look like this again. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to make it one block higher. It we're just gonna repeat this ex exact same pattern, but just one block higher. By that, I mean just one block higher for the top bit so let's just do it like this oh no so make sure it's equal and sh your build should look a bit like this let's just extend this a bit forward just to make it sharper Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't look right. So it should look like something like this. There's a pointy bit at the front and very flat at the back. Okay, so now we're just going to put a stair in the, two, three stairs in the middle actually, and two slabs at the sides. So three stairs in the middle, no, three stairs in the middle. And I slapped. Okay. So once you've done that, it should be three blocks wide. We're going to make it wider by placing blocks on top of the stairs that we that has been placed. And we're just going to outline it a little bit. Just like this. So that it gives a wider effect. We're going to place dark oak stairs there, and then just fill this bit in with blocks. Just like this. Alright, so we're just repeat it from the back. The back's going to be very similar. So it, there's not really that much going to be changed for the back side. So it just should look like this a bit wider. Just one extra block added for the back or two actually. All right. So the this is the the half of the base. Well, not half, but some of the base of the boat. We're just going to add a stair here at the at the top of the water and a stripped log. Okay. So we're just going to add a stair there, break the log, replace it with a block so that it looks like this from the top. All right. Next. What you're going to want to do is, once again, we're going to make this higher by adding three blocks and two slabs. So this bit is going to have no stairs. So there's just going to be three blocks like this and slabs at the sides. It's a bit different, but still kind of similar. And we're just going to repeat it by putting uh, blocks at the top of the stairs and slabs so just like um yeah 
So just like that. You need to be careful with the uh, the shaping. So we're just going to place two stairs here and another replace that with a stair. And then repeat on the other side. No. So it should so we're going to just place like no like this and yeah okay this can get confusing sometimes if you can't get the shaping correctly so we're just gonna place a stair there and fill in the gap just in case there's any holes in it <coughs> okay so we're gonna place a stair there and some blocks and also a log just to continue the framing so a stair there and a log so now we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side so we're just going to make a bit wider with by placing blocks on top of the stairs and slabs like this and it should be uh, one block wider each time and we're just going to put it on the back and this this time on the back we're gonna make it still a bit the same but this time at at the middle of the back it's going to be have stairs and then at the very middle a log so let's just finish this bit first okay so there's two stairs there and place two logs so it should be looking similar to this shape so yeah okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to just add another layer with the same exact design for as the top just so that it the top is two blocks tall exactly so it should you should be doing something like this. Just to make it a little bit taller. Okay. So now it's just one block taller from the same thing. Okay. This is this the base of the boat is almost finished okay we just need to add a couple of more layers to it i think but okay so we're just gonna clear this bit out first with some sand if you're doing this in survival just sand it out just like this And just clear it out so that there's no, no so that there's it so that the inside of the boat is completely dry from water you can either use a sponge or sand if you don't have sponge okay I uh, know not another brick uh, or now okay where is so we're going to get some some floor blocks. For this floor, we're just going to use some glazed terracotta because of its nice patterns. You can use any block you want for the floor, but glaze, but something that's kind of aquatic, like bluish, a cold color would be very nice since this is a boat. So we're just going to add some carpets here so that we don't have to break the blocks. Just like this. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do is we're gonna, just going to add a bed since you need a bedroom if you're going to be doing this in survival and some slabs and a trap door. Now this is an interesting bed design but a very nice one might I add. So we're going to place the bed and around the bed we're going to place the dark oak slabs like this and then we're going to sur put trap doors at the front of the slabs so that it gives like a framing to the bed if i'm calling it that if that's what it's called so now we need to add the flooring from the top floor for this we're just going to be using birch wood planks for the acacia because it looks nice with acacia so we're just going to fill in the very top with the floor tile that you've chosen or birch if you like so make sure to fill in every gap and space and corner okay so now we're so let's just break a hole there so that you can enter the bedroom and fill in any corners that aren't needed and like that all right so now what we're gonna do is is we're going to grab some stairs some stairs and just put it at the front so that it has so that it has more of a curved effect if that makes sense so it should look like this from the top with a different color some maybe and this is the inside of the bedroom it's dark for now, but we are going to add some light later. Okay, so now we're going to grab some trap doors. I'd recommend Acacia for its like grill design, which will be perfect for this. So we're just going to fill in the walls with Acacia trap doors, just like this. And make sure not to get trapped in them when they're clear. Alright, so now we're just going to fill the top bits with walls, maybe? No. Yeah, walls. An actual wall block, not the A block. This kind of wall block. So we're just going to fill it in like this for a unique design. So your walls should... N walls should not have a, b a bunch of holes in them so it now that now it looks very clean so now we're going to okay so try not to make a mistake like this because ax the trap doors don't are not inside the block not like this that's that's not what you're doing if you're doing that then you, we can't fit anything inside so that's a mistake that I have done so my apologies so what you need to do is you just make need to make the acacia trap doors and the same block as the interior so that there's so that they're not in the inside block if that makes sense so we're just going to make the acacia trap doors a bit more outside so that there's room inside for any blocks or chests or barrels that you want to put inside In okay so you could either do it as a pattern like this or you could just do it so that it's completely flat like this i'd recommend doing it completely flat so that there's much more room So just like this, and we're gonna repeat on the other side. Yeah, okay, that works. Just like this, I can't get, okay. And we're just gonna break the inner trap doors and flip them. So now there's actually room for any chests or things that you want to put inside. As you can see here, I'm just putting chests in it for an example. So this is the bedroom, and of course, we need light. Very important, unless you want mobs. 
So we're just going to place one sea lantern there, which actually gives off a lot of light. And we're just going to cover it with the gate so that it looks like two bright, very bright lights. So we're just going to come back up here. And the board's actually almost done. No, not love. Log. We're going to get the same dark oak log again and just build it one up so that it's one block higher than the actual floor itself. Next, we're going to grab some fences and a some slabs. I'm using copper slabs, oxidized copper slabs. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the fences three blocks up while also being two blocks away from the frame, like this. We're going to place our slabs all the way across from the fences. Now this is, design is going to be a bit complicated, so please, so follow nicely because you can pause if it's way too complicated. So we're just going to make it one slab higher each time like this, so it's three times like that. And then we're just going to add another layer of slabs, one block from the edge, like this. And then we're going to add another layer of slabs here, one block slab. And then we're going to add one, we're going to add more slabs at the top so that it gives, so that the roof is slowly going up. So we're just going to add more slabs just to make it smoother, which is what you definitely want. And a bunch of slabs and some slabs there. Okay, now we're going to place three slabs again and another three slabs and one block of slab. And we're just going to place it like that, like this, so that there's four blocks at the middle. And yeah, so the roof next bit is not like that. Is you need once you've done two blocks far, then you're going to do the same thing with three by three slabs and one block. So it's just going to be higher, but this time it's one block smaller from the edge until it's just a pointed end. Okay, so your boat should look like this by now. Okay, so next we're going to get some other more slabs or fences if you prefer, just so that there's a little just so that there's a rim around the boat for people not to fall off. If you're using slabs then there's a guarantee that you're definitely going to fall off. So you could use fences if you don't want that, but for aesthetic, you can use slabs to make it aesthetically pleasing. Okay, what? Now we're going to grab a dark oak slab and a dark oak trap door. At the back, you're going to add the trap door. I mean, the, yeah, the trap door. And at the front of the boat, you're going to add a s slab on top of the logs from the framing. So it should look like this with the roof and the framings. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab copper and a trap door. This, this is interesting because it's like a propeller. So we're going to place one, two, three blocks of copper. And then we're going to place, okay, a trap door there, flick it. And then another trap door on the, no. Okay, sometimes it's hard to maneuver trapdoors on the road. Another trapdoor here, and then a trapdoor there, and then under that trap, no, not, don't break the copper. Under that trapdoor is another, so another door, and then put another one, flick it, and then place one there, and then place one on top. So it should give you this propeller design. Now we're going to get a lightning rod and a bone block. Uh, you don't have to use bone block, but just l just use something that looks kind of like sideways bamboo or something that would make your boat float. So we're going to add four lightning rods there, break this one at the front and place it so that it's the circular bit at the front is facing the inner, 
the boat. Just like this. So we're going to break that. Re no, not like this. We're going to replace it like this. So that so that the lightning rod at the front is three blocks, but the one at the back is four blocks since there has already been a block that made it that made it wider. So we're just going to repeat that on the other side. Just like so. So we'll break that lightning rod so that it has the same design as the back and front, but a, a bit different since it's only three blocks. Now we're going to add a lever and place it on the lightning rods since lightning rods are treated like a full block. And then under the lever, you're going to place a bone block facing horizontal, if I'm correct. Yes. Okay, so bone blocks that are facing sideways like this, just to make the the boats look more buoyant. So we're going to add levers to connect each other because it'll be weird for floating if it if the bone block was just not connected but the boat was still floating. Okay. So no, not man. Now we're going to grab some bamboo. We're going to get some sand, which will make sense in a while, and some, str and some string, not stray. So you're going to want to put the block of sand at the middle of the roof, but also under it. So just place some string on top of your bed, if it's directly on top. So And place some string so that the sand's floating, and just pillar up with black bamboo so that it looks like the bamboo is supporting the roof of the boat it's a very interesting design but i think it actually looks pretty nice so now you can actually decorate it yourself all right so now this the interior has been done and goodbye